Hello everyone, this is Iran Talk and in this video I'd like to rebut survive the jive in one of his something interesting he stated in one of his recent videos. So in his video titled Blonde Mummies, Tokarians and Indo-Europeans of China at around the 1437 mark he begins talking about the Sogdians and you can watch this video and towards the after a minute or so he says that the Sogdians were white and this is not true as genetic analysis of the Sogdians and their direct descendants has shown that uh, they were not not white but rather they were a hybrid population of Indo-European steppe peoples and the native people of the BMAC culture and this disproves the theory that the Sogdians were wholly or mostly of European origin. They were around between around 46 to 64 percent steppe derived so Indo-European but nonetheless they had significant non-Indo-European ancestry primarily derived from the Iranian farmers of the BMAC culture as, as well as from East Asians and uh, uh, from uh, and a minor admixture from the native South Asian population. So yeah, I will take a look at the Sogdians and this, their descendants in this video. Sogdians were another ancient Iranic people with possible Tokarian ancestry. They also mixed with their Scythian neighbors. Their homeland, Sogdia or Sogdiana, included parts of modern-day Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan and Tajikistan. Their culture lasted from the 6th century before Christ to the 11th century AD. At various times, they were under the influence of the Persians, the Greeks, the Kushans, and the Chinese. They became powerful when they controlled the Silk Road trade for a while, and are depicted in Tang Dynasty era Chinese art as Western merchants, sometimes riding camels. This terracotta model of a Sogdian from China also shows an obviously European phenotype. Single humped camels are not native to China, so their presence in Chinese art is a nod to interactions with Western peoples like the Sogdians. Even the native Bactrian camels only live in the arid regions of Western China where Sogdians lived. The Sogdians originally followed Indo Iranic religions like Zoroastrianism and Buddhism but they eventually all converted to Islam by the 11th century and Sogdian was replaced by Persian, which in turn was replaced by Turkic languages after the Turks converted to Islam and mixed with the Indo-European occupants of the steppe to create the modern peoples we know of Central Asia. The East Iranic and Tokarian peoples were almost certainly closely related at the time they are recorded in Chinese sources. So first up here is just the West Eurasian PCA from Eurogene and the highlights are my own and the Sogdians would most likely cluster with the Yagnobi people so yeah that's just the first point I wanted to make on this PCA the Sogdians would be intermediary between the Indo-European steppe pastoralists and the native Iranian farmers of the BMAC culture and not uh, related not uh, close to the uh, Surubnaya, Androno and Sintashtra steppe populations as uh, Survive the Jive implied in his uh, video on the Tokarian. So yeah, now I'll take a look at the genetic background of the uh, Sogdians and their descendants. So Sogdian related samples were sequenced in uh, a study titled uh, Isoriana 2018 study and in that study it was found that the Sogdians were primarily of Indo-European steppe origin but had significant non-Indo-European ancestry so these Sogdians were known as the Kongju and the Kongju were a nomadic tribe so they were basically nomadic Sogdians and not settled Sogdians and their ancestral breakdown shows that they were around they were around 64.7 percent Subnaya derived 18.7 percent Neolithic Iranian 13.1 percent Mongolian 2.9 percent Bedouin derived and 0.6 percent ASI so that's quite interesting and the the original Sogdians were probably most likely very close to these Kongju peoples but they probably had a bit less uh, Strubna ancestry as the as the genetic profile of their descendants shows but yeah this this Kongju sample is a good proxy for the early Sogdians and yeah you should definitely take this into account despite being uh, overwhelmed sorry despite having a significant amount of their ancestry derived from Indo-European steppe population they were not a wholly European population and had significant Iran Neolithic as well as Mongolian ancestry. 
So next up are the Yagnobi peoples and the Yagnobi peoples are the direct descendants of the Sogdians. They speak a language which is descended from Sogdian and they're only around 46.3% Subnaya derived, around 24.05% Ganjdara derived, around 21% Haji Firuz derived, around 7.7% Mongolian and 0.95% simulated ASI. So this shows that the Sogdian descendants today are not Europeans and this also shows that the Sogdians originally were not a European population but rather a hybrid population of Indo-European steppe pastoralists and native Iranian farmers of the BMAC culture. Next I'll take a look at a Tajik uh, Pamiri. So here is another, this is a Tajik Pamiri and the Pamiri is around 53% Subnaya derived, 30.9% Ganjdara derived, 7.25% Mongolian, 4.8% Haji Firuz derived, 4.05% simulated ASI with no Bedouin, B or Maburi ancestry. And this is a Tajik Pamiri and this shows that the Pamiri is mostly of steppe origin but has significant uh, uh, Neolithic Iranian as well as uh, sorry significant Neolithic Iranian ancestry as well as minor Mongolian and ASI ancestry so this is Tajik Pamiri and next I'll look at uh, Pamiri the few other Pamiri samples from the very southern part of the Badakhshan region region in uh, uh, in uh, Tajikistan sorry the Badakhshan region in Tajikistan and Afghanistan so yeah I'm taking a look at those samples right now so first up we have the Pamiris from Rushan and they're around 52.7% Subnaya derived, 76.35% Ganjidara derived, 9.3% Mongolian, 7.5% 55% Haji Firuz derived and 4.1% simulated ASI. So again this shows and no Bedouin and no Mamburi ancestors. So again this shows that the Sogdian descendants today are not Europeans but rather are a hybrid population. Next I'll take a look at the uh, Pamiris from uh, Iskashism. So this is another town in southern uh, Badakhshan. The Tajiks from Ishkashim are around 47.1% Srubnaya derived, around 31.6% Ganjidara derived, around 8.75% Mongolian derived around 8.7% simulated ASI and 3.85% Haji Firuz derived and again this just shows that the Sogdian descendants today are not Europeans but are a hybrid population between uh, the Indo-European steppe pastures and native Iranians of the PMAC culture and now I'll take a look at one more sample and this is from this is another this one is actually from the same region it's it's from the very south of Tajikistan and this one actually is shows something very similar indeed. It's from Shugnan. So the Shugnan Tajiks are around 50.45% Subnaya derived, around 28.65% Ganjidara Neolithic derived, 9.55% Mongolian derived, 5% Haji Firuz Calcolithic derived, and 5.35% ASI derived. And that's quite interesting as well. But yeah, that's essentially it for this video. Another point I wanted to add here is that these most recent calculations of mine prove that the ancient Sogdians were not Europeans and were not an East, sorry, were not Europeans and were not a Nordic population. It was but were rather a hybrid population between Indo-European steppe people than the native Iranian farmers of the BMAC culture. But yeah, that's essentially it for this video. Please like, share and subscribe.